Staffing at police departments has been on the decline since the start of the pandemic, leaving big cities scrambling to recruit officers, even offering hefty financial incentives. Christian Benavidez reports. In the midst of a crime wave, Stockton, California's police department was understaffed by 100 officers and the community noticed. Sometimes I see it one or two around, but that's kind of a rare occurrence. New Orleans has had so much trouble recruiting officers, the city is hiring civilians to take on some of the work. Such as medical calls, forgery calls. Thefts. Police departments across the country are facing severe shortages. A nationwide survey last year found an 18% increase in police resignations. Their retirement rate jumped 45%. The best recruiting tool that you can have Word of mouth. Miami Police well, Chief Manuel Morales right says through. filling his 60 openings has been a challenge. There is a what the perception of an anti-police uh, sentiment that's growing throughout the nation that discourages some of the applicants because I've talked to some of them. Here in Florida, a program to boost police recruitment offers a $5,000 signing bonus to officers who move here from out of state. The bonus is also for recruits joining law enforcement for the first time. We want to reward people who are going into this profession. In Minneapolis, short 300 officers, the city council approved a $7,000 loyalty check for staying on the force. So moved. Chief Morales tries to spread the word that policing can be a career with impact. You can go and rescue a family from an abusive husband. You can go and save someone from the trenches of drug addiction, and you can do that each and every day. But for now, with high crime rates and a tight labor market, recruiting remains an uphill battle. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Miami.